Greetings. I'm the Reverend Jen Fenner of Epworth United Methodist Church in Gaithersburg, Maryland, and this is Transformed by Faith Today. We continue with our focus on journeying, journeying through this season of graduations, journeying through this season of new beginnings. And our scripture for today is from Psalm 139, starting with verse 4. We hear the psalmist talking about how God has searched us and known us and talking about how there is nowhere we can go apart from God's presence, that literally God hems us in, is before us and beside us and beneath us. And as we make this journey, I invite us to consider that in every up and in every down, there is a God that is with us consistently and constantly. And although I certainly recognize from my own journey that there are moments when we don't feel God, moments when we struggle to understand what God is doing or if God is listening, Scripture tells us repeatedly that God is with us that God is not only with us, but that God uh, knows the thoughts in our minds before we speak them, that God literally surrounds us on all sides. And especially as we consider that life is a journey and that our journey in faith takes us through twists and turns and places that we may be familiar with and places that we may not be, it is incredibly powerful to believe and to hold on to the fact that God is with us. I believe that the last couple of weeks in this nation have been extraordinarily challenging. Most of us can hardly place ourselves in the shoes of the victims of the shooting in Buffalo or the victims of the shooting in Uvalde, Texas. And we ask ourselves, God, where were you then? And what did those individuals think or feel of your presence? I believe that in moments of extraordinary injustice and moments where there is change that is absolutely needed, it's powerful to remind ourselves that no one is ever apart from God's presence. I invite us as we make this journey in faith not to be discouraged or overwhelmed, but rather to continue to hold on to the constancy that is God, to believe that God is present in all places, to believe that God knows what is happening within our heads and our hearts, and to believe that God is using us, leading us, and 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 working out God's plan of salvation through us and despite of us. Today, I'm grateful for every part of the journey in faith, and I'm grateful that God has purpose in the journeys that we make. Lord, thank you for walking with us. Thank you for knowing us in ways that at times we don't even know ourselves. Thank you that even the radical injustice of this world, white supremacy and violence and unchecked access to guns, that none of that separates us from your presence. Lord, allow us to find strength in your presence and on this journey that we might be agents for change, that we might be agents for change in our own lives and in the context that is all around us. And help us, God, to hold tight to the constancy that is your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.